Jessica, I'm going to look at the inside of your eye using our ophthalmoscope. And the ophthalmoscope um, has, when we turn the light on, on here, there are some numbers in the bottom. And what we're looking for is the clear zero. We don't want the red numbers or the green numbers, which are, would be negative and positive numbers. Those numbers will just help me see more clearly if I need to by adjusting it with this dial. So I've dimmed the light so it makes it easier for me to see. I'm going to use my right hand to examine your right eye. And when I would examine your left side, I'll use my left hand and my left eye. I want to stabilize your head with my hand here. Have you look at something over in the corner, not looking at the light. And I'm going to go in at an oblique angle of 15 degrees, and I'm going to be looking for what we refer to as the red reflex. And it, the pupil of the eye just becomes red, and it's a, a reflection of the light on the retina. When I identify that, I'm going to move in, and I'm going to adjust my dial in order to focus. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the optic disc, and I'm looking at the venules and their arterioles in your eye. The, op the retina itself is sort of a, um, a light reddish color. The optic disc is cream colored. The center of it is the physiologic cup. All arterioles and venules egress and ingress through the optic disc. I want to follow the path of those arterioles and venules by moving my head and my instrument as one piece, noting if there's any crossing changes or nicking changes of which there are not in your eye. Also, if I were to notice any kind of an alteration, I would be able to um, identify where it was using disc diameters. The disc itself is one to one and a half millimeters in size. If I saw something to the right, I might say that it was one disc diameter away at four o'clock, and that would help the next person to identify where I saw that alteration. As I'm looking at your eye, the last thing that I want to do is I want to have you look then directly at the light. And when you look directly at the light, I am looking at your macula, which is the central point of vision. It's avascular. I have you look at it last because it is the most sensitive portion of the 